Now at six, honoring a fallen firefighter, members of the community are coming out to pay their respect and to say thank you. Good evening to you. I'm Mark Mellinger. And I'm Heather Heron. The viewing for Mark Hodden's child the second is underway at the D.O. McComb Funeral Home on DuPont Road. The volunteer firefighter was killed while responding to a brush fire earlier this week. His tanker rolled, throwing him out of the truck. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth is at the viewing tonight, and he joins us with more now. Randy? Good evening, Mark and Heather. Yes, friends and family are still mourning the loss of their loved one. 26-year-old Mark Howden's child II did pass away Sunday night in the line of duty. But at the same time, a lot of people are celebrating his life. Tonight, it is the viewing out of the funeral, funeral home up on DuPont Road. But earlier today, there was a procession. So, of course, a day-long event of just honoring the fallen firefighter. Uh, this morning's procession uh, went through... Uh, all throughout Fort Wayne, hundreds of people lined up in honor of the fallen hero along the streets. Some of the people included school children and employees at several businesses were all lined out to show their support. Tonight, Howland's child's sister Angela told us how her brother should be remembered. It's a goofball all the time. Always had a smile on and he definitely loves his kids. Them little ones are were his life, him and them and Janet. When the little one started walking, he texted me pictures of her, and so we kept in touch, but he, just everybody remember, you know, he would want everybody laughing about all the dumb stuff he did, and him fix, trying to fix stuff when he was little, and then being Mr. Fix-It at the firehouse. Now, Howland's Child's viewing goes for about two more hours this evening. It is open to the public. Tomorrow is the funeral service. It will take place at noon at the chapel over on southwest side of Fort Wayne. That's off of West Hamilton Road. And then the burial ceremonies will take place following, and that will take place up in Cherubusco. Anyone who can't be in attendance, any of those, are encouraged to put out signs and a be along the path up to the cemetery. Reporting live tonight from the north side of Fort Wayne, Randy Spieth, News Channel 15.